Hey everyone, Eddie here. I just wanted to show you uh, in real time how I create uh, playlists for my events uh, that are coming up. I have an event here for this weekend, March 16th, 2024. And as you can see, I already created a ceremony playlist. So I also want to create a reception playlist as well as a must play and play if possible playlist. So these are three main lists that I create um, before going, in, going into receptions. Now with Engine DJ, to search your collection, you must first highlight the collection there. Now I can see my whole collection here. If you see something in red, that means the file was lost, deleted, or removed. Um, I'll have to check to see if this has been moved somewhere else and uh, find a relocation file or just remove it if I can't find it at all. <clears throat> but I just wanted to give you that heads up if you ever see something in red. Now, according to this playlist, we have um, Claude Debussy. Hope I'm pronouncing that properly. Uh, yes, you can copy and paste. Uh, Clown Debussy. It might be under just Debussy. Okay. And there you go. Let me just double check. Uh, you can always preview your music by hitting play. I also like to check where the file is coming from. So. I uh, go to show and finder and I always like to click uh, hit this section here so I can trace it back okay this is an Amazon music I'm gonna go to Royal Festival Orchestra so sounds pretty good let me just close this Actually, artist is Sarah Ainsworth. And here's another one. This is, this is by another orchestra. Now, what I usually do would I kind of like this version better. I'll take this and just drag it right into ceremony. Now I'll move on to my second one, A Thousand Years. And this is by Piano Guys. So let's find Piano Guys right here. There you go, A Thousand Years. You can see I even have a cue point for it. Drag that in. That's the Bride's Processional song. Now for the recessional, we have best day of our lives by, oh, I must have misspelled something. American authors, best day. All right, best day of my life. Okay, I misspelled it when I inputted it, or when she inputted it into the music request. So um, best day of our lives right here. You can see I have cue point set drag and drop that right in here <clears throat> now uh, let's go into the reception their intro song for everybody will be uh, um, you make my dreams all the notes there you go you can see I've used it before I got key point set so I drag and drop it in reception now moving forward to love like this by Ben Rector. There you go, Love Like This. Drag and drop it right in there. Reception. That's their uh, first dance song. Um, Make It Sweet by Old Dominion. Oh, awesome. I do have that song. I didn't think I had that song. Yeah, it came out in 2018 but I wasn't too sure if I had it. So that's wonderful. So now I just drag and drop it right in here. And 
and there's no last dance song um she gave me some dinner options of what to play i don't think i'm playing for cocktails so let's double check uh oh yeah i am playing for cocktails okay i take that back <clears throat> so um she gave me some dinner options so i'll just build off of that for dinner um let's double check for cocktails sometimes i would create a cocktail dinner playlist here but um i'm gonna use virtual dj for that <clears throat> let's see here uh let's see here must plays all right so now i'm looking at my must plays there was that or this girl and that's by riley green now, i'm not familiar with that song Never knew my old man's truck could even run. All right, my bride's a big country fan, so now I know. Now I know. All right, and I should have realized Riley Green was country. All right, now we have Jason. Oops. Jason Mraz with I'm yours, of course, right here. Drag and drop that in must play as play as possible. Uh, moving on down, can't stop the feeling, Justin. And drag and drop that in there. Now you don't have to type out these all these songs. Uh, let's say here, 24K Bruno. There you go. You, you can mix it up. You could use use uh, shortened versions of the song titles. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab. Uh, I want to edit because that gives me a mix in. Boom. Okay, uh, forever and ever and uh, ever, Travis. <laughs> All right, there we go. Drag and drop it. Now we're going into shut up moon. Oops, I need to space it. So shut up moon. There we go. Walk the moon. Bam. I gotta find it in here. <laughs> Let's make sure I didn't accidentally put it in there. All right. All right go back to collection, highlight collection. Uh, dancing Queen, uh, Abba, Dancing Queen, there we go. Drag and drop it. Um, what else is in here? I want it back, Street Boys, there we go. Drag and drop. <coughs> Someone. One to you. Uh, where is this? Modern rock mainstream. I want the mainstream version. So we're going to drag and drop that right in here. I'm not familiar with it. I'm surprised I haven't played that song yet. Interesting. All right. Um, I can tell I haven't played it because I don't have any cue points set on it. I always set cue points to my songs before I play them. All right, now moving forward here, uh, I got uh, uh, my black eyed peas. I got a feeling, there we go, boom, drag and drop. Uh, what else is there? 10,000, and that is by Dan Plache. There we go, which version do I want? Country radio, mainstream? Uh, I'm surprised I haven't played this either. I probably have because lots of times I've reset my file. So um, I'll go with the mainstream. You can always be safe with the mainstream. All right, so now we want, now we want uh, levitation. Yeah, if you misspell levitating, really. Um, she wants the clean versions of every music, so I'm gonna just drop that in there. It's a mainstream version, anyways. Come fly with me, Frank. Come fly with me. I like the remastered, which is interesting. Oh no, that's Love in Paris. Never mind. All right, come fly with me. Drag and drop it. All right. <coughs> hey, Outcast. Go. Drag and drop it. And what else is here? Wanna Houston. So here we 
we go. Drag and drop it right there. Now, as you can see, I have created my three playlists for this coming weekend. Ceremonies. Oh, uh, make sure to always clear your search engine. So you can review your playlists. Everything's all in order. As you can see, we have uh, uh, Claire de Lune, A Thousand Years, and Best Day of My Life. <clears throat> uh, then if you look at reception, everything's in order. From You Make My Dreams Come True, Love Like This, Make It Sweet, and then there's nothing else for the reception formalities. And then, of course, I got my must plays and play possibles. You can always count these. We got 15 here, so we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I got all 15 of my tracks. So uh, this is all done. This is all set up. Now the next step for me to do oops, will be to transfer this to my external hard drive. And oops, my hard drive's missing. <laughs> Hold on. Now we want to transfer this. Let me grab my cord. I should have had all this prepped. All right. <clears throat> Let's do it on this side. All right. Now I have plugged in my hard drive. And as you can see here, popped up on the screen. Uh, let me eject that. No, I just updated uh, the engine. Now, when this pops up, just highlight this and let this run through first because what it's doing is aggregating the drives. So you want to allow this to aggregate the drive first. This will take some time. It takes about 15 minutes. Uh, sometimes longer, sometimes shorter. It just depends on how large your music drive is. <clears throat> I pretty much carry everything with me, but I do have it organized over here, as you can see. Uh, with my different playlists. Um, I got my DJ playlist here where I've used the top uh, most requested from the 50s, 60s and everything that is set up on the DJ app that Dave set up for us. Uh, th so these are my quick twos if, if I'm like, damn, what's a good 70s song or 80s song and I'm doing a brain fart, I'll just go to these quick playlists. Or even... Um, yeah, I got go-go reggae, hall, uh, uh, dance hall reggae, and um, as you can see here, I got all of this all pre-set up. Let's double check this, see where we're at. We're still there. Well, anyways, let's say if that finishes, that will be blank. So what you want to do is go into Sync Manager. Go into Sync Manager. You have to wait to see the two drives. Once the two drives pop up, <coughs> Uh, as you can see, it's thinking right now. Usually, I like to wait for this to finish down here because this moves a lot faster. <clears throat> but I wanted to show you real quick without holding you up on this demonstration. Now, I just like to shorten this because it's just going to put up all your playlists. So, um, these are my old playlists. Uh, Let's do this. There's no music needs to be updated. <coughs> Everything's all updated, except for these three playlists. These are the new playlists. So basically what I want to do is highlight these. See like what I mean? When you try highlighting them and it's still processing, it moves a lot slower. So right now it's just calculating. I got to wait till it finishes calculating. And then I can highlight these three. <coughs> This calculation won't take too long. There we go. She's thinking. Uh, it will tell you the size once it's done calculating. This could be being held up because I didn't let this finish through. <coughs> Let's see here. Come on. Anytime now. It's like watching water boil. Okay, no 
problem. So um, basically when this finish, this export to drive highlights. So let's say, oh, it's still cracking me up because of the, because of what's going on over here. <clears throat> so basically um, when this is done calculating, I usually highlight the new folders it will calculate again, but it's a lot faster. It's just a few seconds. And then this will hide, highlight right here to export the drive. But before you export the drive, you want to sync to engine first. I don't want to sync yet till this is done processing. But um, uh, once this is done processing, you open up Sync Manager. You wait for all this to read. Uh, you highlight the new files or your new playlists. Once it's all done calculating, sync to engine first because this is all your saved data that you've uh, performed with at your event. Like let's say if you set new cue points on your players or uh, new loop points or whatever it is. Um, uh, uh, what else was there? Um, any type of effects or cue points um, that you've added uh, or even if you did a file name change, whatever it is that you did on the hard device, like your Prime 4, Prime 4 Plus, Prime Go, ESC Lives, whatever, uh, even the uh, new Mark, whatever you've used on your standalone player, whatever you performed with, you want to sync that to your drive first. Then, uh, once you have your new playlist all highlighted, you can then export back to your drive and voila you've got all the data that you uh, performed with on the previous event and you've saved it in the backup as well as bringing it back forward because if you don't sync this data here first before exporting your drive what will happen is this will be erased and all your any new cue points that you set at your last event when performing on your standalone unit will be gone. So just remember that always sync first and then export to drive. So I just wanted to show you this how this works. If you have any questions about engine DJ, about uh, then and prime units, see it's still aggregating there. Uh, just give me a call or holler at me or you know send me a message. Have a great one. Bye.